the wrong tool. <sighs> Sam? Uh, Sam? Turning a foil ball into a foil pancake? You don't know a thing about scientific experiments, do you? Mm -hmm. So the difference in diameter is, is... Sam, will you please share what you're doing here? I could help. Are you a foil specialist? Well... No. Then I doubt you can help. Oh, I think I know what's going on here. You're trying to make a polished mirror foil ball. Trying is not the right word. I'm almost sure it is impossible to do. Almost sure? Perhaps it is possible to make this ball. No, Sue. No matter what all those people say, it's impossible to make such a ball at home. Hmm. I still want to give it a try. Well, go on, but be ready for failure. Hi, guys. Have you heard about making this interesting experiment? How to make an ideal smooth ball out of a roll of foil? Give a thumbs up if you have. Even if you haven't heard about it, today I'm going to show you the whole process. But if you're going to make it at home, ask an adult for help. Go on, make it, and I'm going to keep a log. A log? Why? Because it's an important process, that's why. More action, less talking. All right, all right, I'm starting. Safety first, guys. You need to wear gloves that will protect your hands. Put on gloves, check. Now, we need to just crumple some foil into a large ball. Go on, take more. We need this ball to be quite substantial. Otherwise, it's not an experiment at all. Sam, I'll make the ball from the foil we have at home. I can't do more. It's a good thing I'm so thrifty, then. I always remind you when we need more foil. Are you sure? It's me who always reminds you about things. Well, uh, doesn't matter. Continue. This step is complete. I need to press it down a bit with my hands. Let me help! Oh, thanks, Sammy. I think this is enough. This is the initial ball we have. Let's continue. I know what's next. I brought you the tool! Thanks, Sammy. That's exactly what I need. Let's see if I'm strong enough. I need to hammer the ball until it shrinks in size by half. Let's go! Stop! What's the matter? Well, Sue, how can you be sure if it shrunk by half without measuring it before you start? Well, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Eyeball it? <laughs> Where's the science in that? I'm going to measure it. Then you'll know for sure. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. And up here. Mm, yep, yep, yep. You can start now. Thank you for your permission. I need to hammer the ball really well. Volume loss is 10%. Phew, let's continue. Looks like it shrunk by half. Let me measure it. Sammy, I don't think we need to. I can see it's what we need. Oh, this wasn't easy. I need to rest. I'll continue tomorrow. It's time to continue working on the ball. Oh! Sam, it's morning already! Get up! Uh, what? Who? I haven't touched the ball! You haven't? But it looks like you've been measuring it all night. You seem so tired. Now I'll need several types of sandpaper to polish the ball. I'll start with the biggest grit. Oh. Oh! <gasps> 
It's not as easy as it seems. Now, this sandpaper. Several hours of work, and this is what we have. It's a bit messy here. You're all set, you're wearing gloves, but how can I protect myself? Well, you're a smart slime. You'll think of something. Yes, that's true. I will. There! A cap out of a balloon? Well, that can work. Now I won't get dirty. Give your ball here. I'll check if everything's going all right. You think something isn't? Hmm, well, actually, I'm quite surprised. You've almost got a smooth ball. But you're not finished yet. No, now I need to polish it with wet sandpaper. Oh, oh why haven't you warned me? I should have brought an umbrella. <laughs> no, Sammy, not at all. Just a bit left to do. Phew! Only the last step is left. Polishing! To make the ball extra shiny! Yes, Sammy, to make the ball extra shiny. <laughs> Our metal ball doesn't even sink in water. It's amazing. Oh, it's, it's so beautiful. Sue, Sue, to register your achievement, we need to, need to, oh, we'll be right back. I don't think we need anything. Guys, do you like this ball we've made? Give a thumbs up uh, if you do. Uh, oh, there, we'll measure everything. Wait, size. All right, everything down! <laughs> Dear Susie, I'm pleased to inform you... Yes? This is a success! <laughs> right, let's arrange it neatly. We may have overdid it a bit. <laughs> but this is such an amazing project! <laughs> It'll be epic! <laughs> well, we'll see. We've never done anything like this before. <sighs> Hi, guys! Today we prepared a very unusual video for you. Yes, yes, because we're going to make a pencil planet sphere! Only it doesn't look much like a sphere so far. So far, yes. You know it's only the beginning. Look, we glued lots of colorful pencils to a cardboard circle. And some of them are a different length. See? Oh, listen, Sue. I still don't get it. Why do we need to cut pencils of different lengths? Why? Well, to create this epic effect. Like a color explosion inside a transparent sphere. Then we'll set it on the table and enjoy looking at it. Colorful fireworks frozen forever! <laughs> yeah, something like that. Oh, wait. And what will this sphere be made of? From transparent epoxy resin. But first, we need to make a vessel for it. To make it, we'll glue a cylinder to our base. We're using our trusty cardboard for this craft. And it's best to use hot glue here. It'll hold everything together really well. Guys, this craft is quite complicated. So if you want to make it, ask an adult to help you. And we need to make sure we cover everything with glue. Because the resin can sit from the tiniest gap. So all the seams should be sealed well. Yes. This looks good. The mold is ready. Let's pour the epoxy resin in carefully. Oh, so beautiful. It reminds me of syrup or honey. Only, of course, you can't eat it. It's not safe. But so pretty. And now it has to set in a vacuum. I've never done things like that, but our neighbor Roger agreed to help me with this amazing project. Oh, I saw that Roger has a lot of special tools! What will happen after the resin sets? 
Roger will shape this cylinder, and I'll tell you how he did it. I can't wait to see the result! So, Roger gets to work. The pencil work piece has completely set. It's time to start shaping it to make it look like a sphere. It's a very meticulous job. But Roger is a real master at this. Look at his precise movements. And the cylinder is gradually starting to look like a sphere. All the excess resin is being shaved off. When we get the sphere shape, we need to continue shaving it until it gets perfect. Almost done! Next, the sphere must be polished to get a really shiny surface. We're using sanding paper with grains of different size and also water. The sphere is becoming even more magical! <gasps> Amazing! And finally, it's done! Would you look at this amazing thing we've got now? Holy cannoli! I can barely believe that this used to be several packs of pencils! <gasps> look how the colors are playing on this wonderful sphere!